Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Thursday afternoon video. So I just want to make a video on my thoughts on PayPal. PayPal is a top buy position of mine. Obviously, after earnings, it went down. I think this is my opinion on what Wall Street's doing with uh, PayPal. Currently, it's sitting at like a 11, 13 forward PE. Great income statement, great balance sheet, great, great forward guidance, in my opinion. There was really nothing that I saw on that earnings or conference call or balance sheet or income statement to where the stock got sent down 10%. I have a conspiracy theory that Wall Street plays games. Wall Street knows retail is very heavy in this stock. Because of that, I think they are trying to get weak-handed retail people to kind of sell. PayPal's been buried at this bottom between $50 and $60 per share for over a year at this point now. So I think Wall Street knows it's a really good buy. And they want to play last-minute games with Wall Street to basically say, hey... Yeah, this stock's going nowhere and all your uh, calls that you're doing because it's on the bottom, we want them to expire worthless. You guys run out of money. You guys get emotional. You guys sell out of PayPal. Then we're going to gobble it all up at $55, $50 a share. And then it's going to run to 70 75 80 90 this year. And then you're going to look back saying, you know, how you wish you kept your shares, basically. So I think that's the game Wall Street's playing right now because there's no reason why Wall Street shouldn't and wouldn't want this stock unless they're waiting to see what Alex Chris does with the company, the new CEO. Maybe they want to see results instead of like, you know, what he's doing. So he's very transparent. I think he's going to execute very well. Obviously it came from into it. This stock for me is roughly a 12% weight in my portfolio. So it's, it's, it's a fairly good size. I own 20 stocks. So this is a larger one for sure. My cost base is I think it's like high 70s, basically. So um, that is something that, um, you know, is fine. Uh, I'm totally cool with being down. Uh, I have no intentions on selling it unless I see the fundamentals of the business model change, which I don't see anything. So I'm going to continue to buy. I actually bought some more shares today. So I bought it open at $56 a share, roughly. So uh, I'm going to continue to add, drive down my cost base. The fundamentals are still intact. As a long-term investor, I think there's really nothing to worry about. So I'm going to continue to do my thing. And, and you know, I'm sure PayPal is going to show, you know, there will get to a point where PayPal just continuously beats, beats, beats. And it's going to be inevitable. They're, you know, they're going to buy because they're going to see the deal in it. They're going to see the value. They're going to see the evaluation in the company, basically. So really nothing concerning at all. Um you know, it's it's just it's kind of laughable uh, sometimes what Wall Street does to try to like, I think they mess with retail and they want to prove a point. But, you know, whatever. I mean, the people that really do the research, the people that really put in the time, the people that really understand how things work, you're just going to buy more. So uh, that's kind of the camp I put myself in. And, you know, God forbid PayPal goes down to 50, I'll buy more. 45, I'll buy more. 40, I'll buy more. So I'll buy all the way down. There's no way with a $50 billion market cap, PayPal's going to get sub 25 billion like like unless they're losing users losing free cash flow making very bad business moves bad acquisitions like it, it just doesn't make sense um venmo is growing like crazy your your growth was great you know they're they're uh i actually own a paypal mastercard and i've owned it god for 10 years at this point but I have been noticing actually getting emails here and there saying like promos or discounts or, you know, buy three items this month and get X back in points. So Alex Chris was talking about that in the fall when he first took over the company. And I see it firsthand, like like legit they're doing that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I think that's going to really gain people um, to give them incentive to use the card and stuff like that. I also, you know, people, you know, on Wall Street were a little hung up on the user growth like active users, all they have to do is just run crazy promos to sign people up or something like that. And they're going to make that user growth go crazy. But really, that's not important to them. They talked about efficiencies. They talked about getting the balance sheet right. They talked about um, free cash flow. They're not focused on user growth. Like if rates were at zero and everyone's flying to the moon, like, yeah, you might want to do user growth to gain more of that market share. But right now with rates so high and just getting your operations and efficiency dialed in, that's really what you want to focus on right now. I mean, rates, 
the federal funds rate is 5.5% right now. So like now isn't the time to get users. You really want to dial in your stuff, get lean, get efficient, keep your A players. And, and as rates go down, then focus on that stuff. But there's, you know, right now there's so much opportunity ever. So that's kind of my thoughts on PayPal. Long story short, I'm buying today. I'm holding my position. I saw nothing concerning. I wouldn't mind making this 15% of my portfolio if needed. And uh, yeah, so I'll continue to buy. So till tomorrow, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on PayPal. Are you, do you own it? Are you selling it? What do you think of it? Um, just curious to hear what you guys have to say. All right, till tomorrow. Peace.